Your nation, your news, One American News Network. Now page four, the Obama agenda. What has this man not done that he set out to do? What part of his fundamental transformation agenda has not been implemented? He's taken over the banks, he's usurped the Constitution, stealing Article I powers. He's attacked the Bill of Rights. He's divided this country by race, income, sexuality, gender. He's taken over the Internet. He's used the IRS to silence opposition. And, of course, health care. The Obama government has consumed one-sixth of the national economy with Obamacare. But there is hope. 52% of Americans now oppose Obamacare today. That is the same opposition number as in 2010, the year Obamacare was rammed down our throats. And for what? Five years ago, the rate of uninsured in this country was 14%. Today, the rate of uninsured, 13%. Nice job, Barack. You destroyed the greatest health care system on the planet for a lousy 1%. But that's the Obama way. That's the Marxist socialist redistribution of wealth model at work. You've got to break a few eggs to bake a cake. Ends justify the means. And for Obamacare, it's never been about health care. It's about government control of your life. So here's Obama doing another softball, lightweight interview with a so-called journalist at the Huffington Post. Uh, Ebola. Remember that? Uh, Stop obviously. say it. Yes, uh, Mr. Uh, Smug, we remember that. It's still unfolding right now, Ebola is, in Africa. Remember that? Roll tape. Ebola is a serious problem, and we've got to get down to zero, but uh, that was probably one of the most effective uh, international public health responses in history, and that was led by us. Stop the tape. The ego of this man, do you hear him? Led by us. It's funny, Mr. President, apparently you're not paying attention to the World Health Organization, which notes that Sierra Leone and Guinea are seeing a spike in Ebola now. Should we blame that on you, too? Roll tape. Uh, it would still be raging, and everybody else would be at risk. Stop the tape. Uh, Listen to the syntax of this man. The narcissism. Everybody else would be at risk if it weren't for him. Everybody still is at risk. This is the worst epidemic the world has seen since 1918, Mr. President. 1918, that's when your hero, Woodrow Wilson, was in office. Roll tape. Those experiences, I think, remind you that uh, my, my job is to keep my eye on the ball and to stay focused on what can we get done every single day to advance the, the, the vision and the values that brought me here? Stop Look. the tape. You see, the vision and the values that brought him there. Not the values of this country, not liberty, not freedom, not the Constitution, not the American people, not the American way, not about building a great society, a free society, not about us. It's about him, always about him. So for the first time in American history, we have a two-term president in the final 20 months of his administration, and he's not lame duck. In fact, just the opposite. Air Obama is soaring, lording over us, pelting we the people with his shotgun blasts of radical agenda items. There is a constitutional remedy for all this, but Obama knows that this Congress does not have the political guts to do the right thing and impeach the 44th president. Coming up next, why a 